There are two basic conditions for setting up foreign key constraints. Both tables need to use the InnoDB storage engine, and both columns that form the foreign key relationship must be indexed. We're working with the up and running database in phpMyAdmin, so let's select that. The structure here tells us that both tables are using InnoDB, so that's fine. We need to check the indexes, so let's go to the makes table, select structure there, and make ID is going to be used as the foreign key in the cars table. It's underlined here, that indicates that it's the primary key, and the primary key is indexed, so that's fine. We need to check the cars table, so let's go back up to the up and running database and select the structure for cars. Now make ID is listed here, but you can't tell whether it's indexed. The way to tell whether it's indexed is to expand indexes below here. And we can see that make ID is listed, so that means that it does have an index. And the unique column says no. That means it's not a unique index, so we can store the same value multiple times in that column. And foreign keys are normally used in one-to-many relationships. So the foreign key column in a child table should normally be able to store multiple references to the single value in the parent table, so a unique index would be inappropriate in this particular case. Everything looks fine here, but let's just say that the column that you want to use to store the foreign key doesn't have an index, just find the column name up here and then in that row select index and it will create an index for that column. But we're OK, so what we can do now is to set up the foreign key relationship. To set up the foreign key constraint, you must be in the child table in phpMyAdmin. Car is going to store make ID as the foreign key, so it's the child table. So underneath this matrix here with the list of all the columns, you need to select relation view. And that opens this form where you create the foreign key constraint. On the left-hand side, you have internal relation. This is used only internally by phpMyAdmin, and it was originally designed for working with MyISAM tables to make it easier to see the values represented by foreign keys. You don't actually need to use it if you're setting up a foreign key constraint, but I strongly recommend that you do, because it's used by phpMyAdmin for building queries by example on multiple tables, as you'll see later in the course. So what we want to do is we want to create a relationship between make ID in the cars table and make ID in the makes table. So in internal relation, make ID, open this little menu, it lists indexed columns, it's up and running makes make ID that we want to create the relationship with. So select that, and then in foreign key constraint in ODB, open that and it's also the makes table make ID. As soon as we do that, we get some extra options. You can give the constraint a name. You don't need to. If you leave that blank, phpMyAdmin will automatically create a name for you. And then what you want to do with the foreign key constraint on delete and on update. You've got four options there, cascade, set, null, no action, and restrict. These were described earlier. I recommend selecting Restrict, and then all we need to do is Save, and that creates the foreign key constraint. Now let's switch to the parent table, the makes table. So let's just open that and select makes, and then we want to look at the structure, and then relation view here. And we don't need to select anything in up here because we're in the parent table, what we want to do here is to select Choose Column to Display. And if we select Make, you'll see the value of doing this a little bit later. What it will do is when you mouse over a value in the Make ID column in the child table, it will display the value of Make rather than just the number. So let's just save that. And it doesn't make any visible change, but if we go now to look at the Cars table, and we hover over Make ID, we now see Chrysler and Ford and Chevrolet. So it makes it very easy to work in phpMyAdmin when you've got foreign keys that are just numbers. Numbers tend to be rather meaningless to humans, so if we've got the tooltip which tells us what that number actually means, 
it's extremely helpful. So we can see that 16 is Toyota. Let's go to the makes table. We know that we've got a Toyota value in the cars table. Let's try to delete 16 Toyota in the makes table. Do you really want to delete it? Yes. And there we get an SQL query. My SQL says cannot delete or update a parent row. A foreign key constraint fails. So that is the value of using a foreign key constraint. Because we've got Toyota in the other table, listed as number 16 as a foreign key, and we set the foreign key constraint to restrict, you can't delete a value from the parent table if there are dependent values in the child table. So just to dismiss that, click anywhere to dismiss. Also, let's try changing one of these values. We'll continue with that one, with Toyota 16, and make that a different primary key, then click Go. Again, we get an error. Cannot delete or update a parent row, a foreign key constraint fails. So just click that to dismiss, and then we go back to the previous page just by clicking the back arrow there. Of course, nothing would prevent me from changing Toyota, the value in make, to a different make. The foreign key constraint applies only to the columns that are linked to each other. In other words, make ID in the cars table and make ID in the makes table. It doesn't affect the value of other fields in the same row. So that's how you set up a foreign key constraint in PHP MyAdmin. The constraint must be defined in the child table, in other words, the table that stores the other table's primary or unique key as a foreign key. Make sure that both tables use the InnoDB storage engine and that the column used to store the foreign key is indexed.